All right, LDWMMA State is your boy, the coach, you're live, live, live on the coach show, the coach show live. Okay, I know I got some whiners going, Ooh, me. what about what Alexa needs to do? Well, the title of the video says what Valentina needs to do. So if you don't like the coach's video, then you got an option right now to cut the video off. Okay, or, you know, sit here and whine, but the coach will slap the yellow right off your teeth. Okay, that's what the coach will do to you. All right, okay, folks, let me talk about what Valentina needs to do. Okay, you know, I've been giving this fight a lot of thought, okay? And I feel like maybe Valentina, she may have underestimated Alexa Grazo. Not once, but twice. Here's the thing. Valentina Shevchenko is a master martial artist. But part of me sort of believes that maybe Alexa Grazo probably was in the wrong weight class for all these years. Okay? Part of me believed it. Because have y'all noticed that 125 pounds, she just looks very, very strong. She don't look drained and she just don't look weak. I mean, she looks strong. Like, 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 like she don't look like, you know, her stamina is drained. And it's like every time that, you know, at 115, when Alexa used to make a move or doing any grappling, it looked like somebody just sucked the soul right out of her. Like, it was crazy. And then at weigh-ins, man, her face looked like, I don't know, she was sunken in. She looked like a damn drogger, Okay. Like, I'm just like, damn, you know, like, what? <laughs> what the hell? Like, what? what's up? Like, this chick can't make the weight. And it's been multiple times in this weight class, she couldn't make the weight class. I mean, she couldn't make the weight. But nonetheless, let's talk about what does Valentina need to do? Okay, first of all, Valentina Shevchenko cannot be predictable. Okay, she can't be predictable. Um, and when you're predictable against a fighter like Alexa Grazo, she's going to catch on to what you're doing and she's going to notice the pattern and then she's going to capitalize on the pattern. I, I tell you, uh, Alexa's team, they were brilliant. Okay, they were very brilliant. And they found some weaknesses in Valentina's armor. They found them. Every fighter, remember I told y'all, every fighter has a weakness. Every single fighter under God's hot sun, they have weaknesses. Okay, that, that's just what it is. Okay, if you fight in the fight game, there are weaknesses that you have. Well, Team Grazo, they found those weaknesses and they were able to exploit those weaknesses. Okay, you heard me right. They were able to exploit the weaknesses. And here's what they did. They found the spinning uh, back kick to the solar plexus. They found that move that Valentina does. And, you know, she'll do that move and kick the opponent halfway across the octagon. So they figured out when Valentina loves to throw this kick. Okay. They noticed that when Valentina gets close to the back the back of a cage, okay, she will take a step back and she'll throw this kick. Well, Alexa noticed that Valentina was moving backwards towards the cage, and she saw that kick coming a mile away, and what did Alexa do? She jumped Valentina, ran up on Valentina, threw her to the ground, and choked her out. They had been practicing that and over and over and over, and that's because, you know, Valentina, to them, they were predictable. She can't be predictable. She can't do the same thing. She can't stand in the center of the octagon and wait, okay, and wait for Alexa to, to strike first. I think Valentina need to get Alexa Grazo off balance, and she need to strike first, okay? She need to put pressure on Grazo, and she need to cut that octagon off for Alexa Grazo. Don't allow Alexa Grazo free reign to move around that octagon. See, that's, to me, that's what need to happen. <clears throat> Don't give her free reign to move around that octagon. Now, you know, you got commentators like Ho Rogan and uh, a couple other commentators like Daniel Cormier, they question her stamina. They question her stamina. So, I don't know. Like, I don't really think Val has a stamina problem. I don't think she has a stamina problem, but see, that, that will remain to be seen. Because now I start wondering, can Valentina put pressure on Grazo for a whole five rounds? Because Valentina, she's going to have to need to do that, and she's going to have to strike very often. She's going to have to do it. She can't wait for Grazo to strike. She's too fast. Because what Grazo is going to do and what she started doing in the first fight was stick and move. That's what she's going to do. Alexa Grazo's footwork is so fast that you can't really you can't really expect you to stand there. And then she, because she's going to come in, she's going to stick, she's going to get back out of range. That's what she's going to do. Okay? Um, I think Valentina needs to set it up to make Alexa engage. Make Alexa engage. And then when Alexa begins to engage, then you throw it with the counter right. Because now Alexa Grazo was getting hurt with Valentina's counters. She couldn't she couldn't deal with him and she never see him coming. That's the thing. Because you'll notice Alexa Grazo will get real greedy. And so Valentina, you gotta see that. Because Alexa, she won't get in there and take one strike and then, you know, try to move again. She ain't gonna do that. 
okay? She'll stick, she'll hit you a couple of times, then she'll try to get back out of range. And then moreover, y'all know when y'all see Alexa Grazo, she'll get up in there and then, you know, I mean, it's the Mexican in her. That, that's just what it is. Sometimes she'll want to get up in there and go mano y mano. And when that happens, Valentina's going to have a huge advantage because Valentina has the ability to counter with both hands and, and leg. She can do it. The kicks that Valentina throw, they're very fast. And to me, that's some of the fastest kicks in MMA. They're very fast, and a lot of people, they can't even see the kicks. They can't see them coming. Okay? One thing Valentina's going to need to do, the first thing I said was she need to strike first and strike often. Okay? Be unpredictable. Keep Alexa Grazo on balance. The next thing that Valentina need to do is attack the body of Alexa Grazo. We got to slow that mobility down. We got to keep this girl from moving around that octagon so much. Okay? Attack the body of Alexa Grazo. Okay, don't be a headhunter. Don't do all that. Attack the body of Alexa Grazo. Alexa Grazo got a chin, okay? Knocking out Grazo, that's not gonna, that's gonna be a tough task, okay? That's gonna be a tough task. Trying to knock her out, that's gonna be tough. You, you gotta wear Alexa Grazo down. You gotta wear her down. And you gotta wear her to the point to where she don't wanna fight anymore. And Alexa, she's got those moments. Okay, when she was at 115, she experienced a few times where she didn't want to fight anymore. But you have to beat that out of her, okay? You're not just going to beat up Alexa Grazo and knock her out. You've got to knock this girl out, and you've got to put a lot of doubt in her mind that she can't get the job done. That's what you got to do to somebody like Grazo. you got to attack the body, okay? I felt like Valentina was headhunting a lot, and, you know, it just left the body of Grazo just wide open. Attack that body, break Grazo down, break her down. Because eventually, she's going to feel those body strikes. She will feel them, and she's not gonna be as mobile, okay? Next thing, the next thing. When when Alexa Grazo is on that ground, I feel like Valentina need to go ahead and start trying to fish for a submission. Grazo is weak on her back, okay? She can't fight off her back. She can't, she, she ain't gonna be able to do it. That girl is helpless. And every time Valentina put Grazo on her back, Alexa Grazo could do not a damn thing. Valentina need to get on her back. And if Valentina's on top, she got the advantage. Don't just do damage. Try to try to fish for the submission. That's what Valentina need to do. Try to fish for the submission. Okay? Try to get her out of there. Because the longer this fight goes on, the more that this fight is going to go for Grazo. Okay? Valentina got to try to end this fight early. Okay? Alexa is very susceptible to submissions, okay? Her grappling is decent. Her wrestling, it, I mean, she's got decent wrestling. Her jiu-jitsu, to me, is the weak area. That's the very, very, that's the weak area. Now, you're going to say, man, but she submitted Valentina in the first fight because Valentina tried that head and arm throw. And that's another thing. She can't do that nerd head and arm throw, man. She can't do it. She cannot take do that head and arm throw and think that people ain't caught on to that. Most of her opponents, they done caught on to that. Okay, they done caught on to it, and evidently, it's not effective, okay? Because every time I've seen her do it of late, it's just, you know, people know how to counter that. Stop trying to do that. Don't do that head and arm judo throw. Stop, okay? It's not gonna work. Now, she go up in there and do a Taniyashi. Now, that'd be kinda cool, because Alexa's wide open for that. Matter of fact, Alexa, her takedown defense ain't that good. It ain't that great. Like, Valentina need to go into the wrestling playbook because Valentina, her ass know how to wrestle. She need to go into that wrestling playbook. Go into the damn playbook and take this girl down. She got multiple ways she can do it. Multiple ways that she can get this fight to the ground. But Alexa's going to struggle down there. If, if Valentina gets a takedown, Alexa Grazo going to struggle. That's just what it is. So those are my keys to victory for Valentina Shevchenko. Those, those me are the keys. The first key, don't be so predictable. Don't stand in the center of the octagon and wait for, you know, Alexa Grazo to come at you so you can counter. Don't do that. Because she's going to win the fight. She's going to stick and move and she's going to get this fight. And she's going to F up and win a bunch of rounds. Don't do that. Okay? Next, attack the body of Alexa Grazo. Attack the body. Slow this girl down so you can apply pressure to her so she's not so mobile in that octagon. <coughs> and third, get Alexa Grazo to the ground. Now, takedown defense is very questionable. It's very questionable. 
And if you get Alexa Grazo being greedy, which she will, she's going to. She's Mexican. And the Mexican fighters, that's what they do, man. They like to brawl. Valentina can't brawl this woman, though. She can't do it. If Valentina brawl this Alexa Grazo, it, it, it's, it's going to be all she wrote. Okay? The Mexican in Grazo <laughs> wants to brawl. Okay? But Alexa's going to get greedy. She's going to get greedy. And what Valentina need to do is shoot up underneath her, her weak jab because she's going to throw the weak jab. Shoot up underneath that weak jab. Go for the double leg and single leg takedown. Drag Alexa Grazo to the ground and just beat her up unmercifully. Or, you know, go for the submission. Don't let this don't let this play out. The longer this fight plays out, the more in favor of Grazo is going to be. That's just what it is. Because Grazo is going to start round one. She's going to start round one just like she's going to do round five on the move. Grazo has an endless cardio tank. That's just what it is. Alexa Grazo has an endless, endless tank of cardio. Okay? She never gets tired. She never gets tired. Okay, you've got to you got to hit her a lot. You got to hit Grazo a lot. And if you if Valentina can put hands on Grazo for three straight rounds, by round four Grazo is going to start having doubt. But you got to get her to that point. You have to get this woman to that point. You guys, tell me what you think about my final thoughts. This is your boy Coach Shelton Harrison. <laughs> I ain't said this in a while. Subscribe.